Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel. I'm the CEO of Phaeton Corporation. I'm not sure that whether today there is any foreign customer right here. And if yes, please give me a hi. And if no, maybe I can consider to use Chinese. Maybe. Um. Yes, this is our live broadcast room, and behind is my office. Let me introduce our company as such because today is our first day for the live show. We are a turnkey lighting solution provider, and every year we supply more than one hundred thousand units of LED lamps to worldwide, especially the industry industry lamp and the commercial lamp. We make the lamp, the lighting lamp for airports, for highway, for gas station, for shopping mall, etc. And in the next nine days, I would like to be here to work together with you. And as what I said yesterday, that I'm not going to show you our products and not only to show you our technology or something like that, because I think that's not the most thing you need. I'm going to share you the knowledge. This knowledge is not only the industry knowledge, the product knowledge, and also maybe we'll include the market knowledge. That as a buyer, you need to know the information to help you to do the decision. And today, as you know from the presentation, we I am going to explain the situation about the COVID nineteen and the situation about the. UVC right now, the very hot products right now. As you know, that due to the COVID nineteen, that we can meet together, and many clients they call me and even complain to me that, hey, Daniel, the world is so crazy, and my business has been stopped very slow, and we cannot make money. When I receive such a email or such a phone call, I always answer them that. It's a global emergency, and complaining cannot change anything. Instead, that why we try to find out some way to break the situation. For example, since you are experienced in the field of lighting, in the field of LED, or maybe in the field of air conditioning, that why not that consider the best selling products right now, the UVC. LED stabilization lighting, and when I say that, that some of them they seem very surprised and told me that what's that? Why I never heard of that? Is it something like the airport lighting, the supermarket lighting, and the highway lighting that maybe is the same to put that over our head to do the lighting, something like that? Hmm. It is a very complicated and very important issue, and also I believe many people they also have such confusion about what is UVC LED stabilization and what is that kind of lighting. How does it work and how to apply it? I think many people will have such a question like that. So don't worry. Today, I am going to explain to you in details to try to help you figure out what is UVC and how does it work and how it can help your business. Let's start with UVC. As we all know, that sunlight is a mixture of light energy at different wavelengths, as you can see from the presentation. That the wavelength is from three hundred and eighty nanometers to seven hundred and eighty nanometers, which we are called that a visible light. Hey, do you know what is visible light? Which means that when the light comes to your eyes, you can see it. And while those beyond the range of the wavelengths. Which we call the invisible lights, which means that even if it is lighting before you, you cannot see that. And ultraviolet is a type of invisible lights. The range is from ten 
nanometer to 400 nanometer. And the function of these ultraviolet depends on the range of the wavelength. For example, there is one light called UVA. The wavelength is 320 to 400. It makes up the majority of UV reaching the Earth, which means that when you go outside right now to get the sun, the most wavelength you get would be the UVA, and it can damage our skin. About the UVB, the wavelength is 280 to 320. It can treat skin disease, but too much exposure will cause some burn and even skin cancer. So be careful of the UVB. But the lucky thing is that only less than 2% of UVB can reach the Earth, which means that when you go outside right now, we won't get the UVB. But if you go outside at the afternoon, maybe 12 a.m., then you will get some UVB. And the final one is the UVC. The wavelength of UVC is 200 nanometers to 280 nanometers. It is particularly good at sterilizing, but its penetration ability is very, very weak. Before reaching the ground, all UVC lights will be absorbed by ozone in the atmosphere, which means that when you go outside right now, you're standing under the sun, you are not able to reach the UVC, and to standing under the sun is useless for sterilization. In summary, the shorter the wavelength, the stronger the energy, but the weaker the penetration. This is very important. Ah, and also the faster the disappearance. This letter is very important. Let us keep that in mind because we are going to use it very often in the following. And because UVC can be used for sterilization, coupled with the environment of COVID-19, that the most serious problem we are facing right now, the market demand for UVC lighting can be set I can say that it is crazy, and the market variation even increased from 140,000, no, it's 140 million US dollar to an estimated 500 million US dollar, which means that it is a very big market right now. As you may know that right now we put our advert advertisement in the Google and every day we can receive like 10 or 20 inquiries from the whole world and that's say why people is looking forward to it. And the big question right now may be how does UVC work? And I think many people will concern the most. Can it really kill the COVID-19? Before I do the deep study of the UVC, I saw that all the sunlight have the sterilization effect and bacteria and virus will be killed by sunburn or hit something. And also I think there are some people that are having the same idea as mine. They are thinking about that. Hey, if there is some virus that can I go outside under the sun and then I will get clean? But that's not the truth. In fact, UVC, how it works, the UVC will destroy the DNA or RNA of the bacteria and virus. They making them inactive and unable to reproduce, which means that when a single virus is dead, they don't have another one. And as you may know that since the lifespan of single bacteria and virus is very very short. Once they lose the reproduce ability, which means that they don't have children at all, it means death. So the purpose of the sterilization 
has been achieved that that is how the UVC work. But there's one question we need to be clear. The, vital, the vitality of different virus and bacteria are different. Some virus, they may be injured once they are exposed to UVC, which means that when the UVC reach them, they are going to be dead immediately, while others are not. For example, if the UV dose is insufficient, the new coronavirus will only temporarily lose activity and then slowly repair their old structure. Which means that if you don't have enough UVC dose, the virus, they may be injured, they may be have some damage, but they are going to repair themselves very slowly, but finally they will become a new virus. And at present, there are no specific figures to show how much UV dose the new coronavirus, also we call the COVID-19, needs to be killed. From some research, I read some number. The number of maybe 1,085 mJ per cm2 or 3,640 mJ per cm2. And this is some article saying that to kill the COVID-19, how much uh, radiation is needed is maybe 1,000 or maybe 3,000. Maybe 3, Anyway, a very huge number. However, most UV lamps on the market only designed to meet the common standard. Let's see what is the common standard. That is 40 mJ per centimeter. The UV dose required for the 99.99% in activation rates is 40 mJ per cm2. And according to that, and compared with the 1,000 and 3,000 we see right now, it means it may be a very big energy to kill the COVID-19 when you are using the UVC. Only the UVC. And also we need to consider one thing. Further considering the decay of UVC in the air, Hey guys, do you remember just now we said that the shorter the wavelength, the bigger the decay in the air? UVC has a very big de decay in the air. And if consider this, those lamps make no sense for COVID-19, for the common products we see right now in the markets. So, don't easily believe, believe some companies saying, they are saying that, hey, we can cure the COVID-19. Sometimes it is only the market language. It is not the truth. We have to realize that only the efficiency, the time, and the cost are the key factors in our choice of UV lamps, which means that when you choosing some UVC products, please remember time efficiency is very, very important. On the market, there are three main products. They are taking UV as their core competence. They are UV mercury lamp, which is the most, I cannot say popular, but which you can see in the market is very open the mercury lamp and the UVC stabilizing wand and the UVC stabilizing box as we can see from the presentation those are the three main products we can see in the market and let's see the first one first the UV mercury lamp they are popular for the low cost and the high power it is with the lowest cost and Right now, it is with the highest power, but not stable for family use. Why I am saying that? There are three reasons for family 
I suggest you don't take these kind of products for your family use. The first one is this line is like a turf shape. It's a long strip shape and leads to narrow application. Let's see something like this and something like this. It is narrow application. And two, maybe you already know mercury is a very dangerous material. And once we have some operation mistake and once has some leakage, it is harmful to human body, especially if you have some children in your house. And according to the Minamata, it's the town in Japan, the Minamata Convention on Mercury, that China, our country, we are not produce and sell such lamps since January the 1st, 221. Because of the damage, we are not going to produce it anymore since next year. And the third disappoint um, the third disadvantage is it produces ozone. Do you know what is ozone? Ozone is some kind of material that can help to kill virus also. But the most important thing is ozone also causes damage to people. And for this kind of mercury lamp, besides the 255 nanometer which can kill the virus, there is another wavelength, it is 185 nanometer. This also produced by a light source. And this kind of light source, once they combine with the oxygen, which means that the material inside the air, also will be produced. And this kind of material will cause headaches and a lot of problems to your human body. So that's why I don't suggest you take this kind of products. In the following, I also want to share with you that why this kind of products is not suitable for the air treatments. Next, let's say the UVC sterilizing one. This kind of products, in my opinion, it only has a psychological comfort effort, which means that it won't really have the effect to kill the bacteria and virus, but it can make you feel more comfortable. Why I am saying this, let me say the following. Although the UVC dose have a stabilization effect, its effect is a combination of the violet energy and the irradiation time, as we said last now. In the case of sufficient UV dose, bacteria can be completely killed. However, if it is insufficient. The bacteria will only temporarily lose activity and then slowly repair their old structure. This is what we said just now. Let me remind you once again. And according to the industrial standard, the UV dose required for the 99.99% for the in activation rate is 40 mJ per centimeter. If converted into the radiance power of UVC LED, which means that a 40 milliwatts UV lamps need to radiate per square centimeter for one second. And this is a very important issue we need to know. And then, does it mean that 10 seconds of irradiation can achieve sterilization effect since most UVC LEDs on the market are 4 milliwatts? Many people were thinking this way, but unfortunately, it's not. According to the real test, when it is 1 centimeter above the objects, which means that if we are taking the sterilizing wand, we put this wand above the surface, like one centimeter above. The UV radiation area 
is 20.71 square meter. As you can see from the presentation, this shape is 20.71 square centimeters, which means that when the four milliverts they put in this 20 square centimeters, the line will be shorter a lot to each centimeter. Also, let's further considering the decay of the UVC in the air we said just now. Under the requirements of 40 millijoules, such a UVC LED lamp, which is the most popular one in the market right now, let's say, do you know how many units to, is necessary to take this to do the sterilization? We do the test. It is 13.3 minutes. It needs 13.3 minutes to achieve the sterilization effect. And you need to keep the wall one centimeter away from the object. Let's say, if you are a consumer, are you going to take the steriliza sterilization wand above here for 30 minutes? No, it is impossible. It makes no sense for any consumer because no one will use the wand for 13 minutes and only for one space. In this case, that, that's why I'm saying the UVC LED wand is useless at all. And let's go to the third products right now is the also one also very popular in the market right now is the sterilization box. It's a more suitable application in my opinion. Why? Because it is the most cost effective sterilization solution right now for the small things. Based on the high cost of UVC LED and the fast decay rates, it is currently impossible to achieve efficient stabilization. But if the UVC LED is placed in a confined space, which may be like this short, this small, all the problem will be solved. Due to the refraction of lines, the decay of UVC will be relatively reduced and the confined space, small space, will allow more time for the sterilization process. For example, we can put maybe more air form, we can put maybe these glasses, and maybe we can put even crosses in the UVC sterilization box. And of course, it's this advantage is also very obvious. That is, you can only put the small things, as you can see from the presentation, cell phone, glasses, and one thing that we need to consider. As we may know that during the COVID, we wash our hands very often, like me. Every time I go to my office and every time I return home, I will wash my hands like maybe 15 seconds, maybe. But if the COVID go away, do you think that you will still wash your hand like before? That's not possible. The UVC sterilization box is the same. During the COVID, people will make it to do the cleaning. Maybe my cell phone, I will put it into the, the small box to do the sterilization for maybe 20 minutes. But after the COVID, I'm sure that nobody will do that as the time is too long. Which means that if we are right now to do the sterilization box business, which means that it is only a short term business and only can make quick money. That's all. So let's return to the UVC research. In fact, scientists has 
prove that UVA, UVB, and UVC will cause damage to human skin and eyes that many people will know. And even they will lead to cancer. That's because the light will reach our skin and to do some damage. And there are some people they are saying that whether there is any possibility we can try to find some UVC which can do the stabilization but do no harm to human. So scientists is doing the research and fortunately they have something come out. The latest experiment shows that if the wavelength is 222 nanometer, which we call the far UVC, in this situation, this kind of far UVC may be safe for human healthy. Hey everyone, please, I need to remind again. It is may be safe for human because its penetration is very weak and can only reach the surface of the skin, which means that it is not going to damage the skin. It sounds very excited with this kind of far UVC. If this kind of far UVC comes true, a wide range of possible application can be realized from medical area to daily life. For example, we can image that someday there is a lighting over our head. It will do the stabilization when we are working, when you are falling asleep in this room. How will it be so exciting like that? However, from the eyes of a businessman, it is just a good vision which means that for now it is not able to happen. Why? The first reason. This research for the 222 nanometer, the far UVC, it is still in the experimental stage, which means that people only do the experience, but not yet come to a commercial stage. And even I can say that it is quite far away from the commercial application. At present, there is no clinical trial data to prove it is really safe. This is the first reason that it is only in the experimental stage. The second reason, the UVC LED chip with 222 nanometer is still in the stage of small batch. That means that we cannot use this kind of chip for the mass production right now. Even we have some factory, they are saying that they are going to produce the 222 nanometer, but actually no, there is no mass production. We cannot get it. And I believe everybody in the markets cannot get it. And the third reason is that even the 250 nanometer and the 270 nanometer, the chip already very, very expensive. And further consider the principle that we said just now. The shorter the wavelength, the higher the cost. UVC LED chip with 222 far UVC has to be pretty expensive to be very expensive that almost no family can take it. So, 222 nanometer still has a long, long way to go. Although many companies, they have announced that they have the related products such as UVC stabilization door that people can go through that door and with no skin damage and they are going to do the sterilization blah 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 something like that in the opinion of uh, mine it is just not a real product i believe it is just not a real product you can ask them how many days they can do the delivery i believe maybe 19 maybe 120 maybe never next 
Let's talk about the lifespan of UVC LED. This is also the most important issue that many people you need to concern, especially the buyer. As a buyer, you need to concern the lifespan very much. <clears throat> For most LED lamp, the L70, the L70 lifespan is more than 50,000 hours. That means after using 50,000 hours, the lumen will decay to 70% of the original data. That's a very common specification in lighting area, the L7, the L70. But in the field of UVC LED, it is not the same data because it is difficult to reach the technology right now. They are not going to reach the L70. So many people will only use the L50. Yes. Why? Why is that? There are some reasons. Reason 1. The light decay of the UVC LED chip will be particularly fast in an environment with the oxygen or moisture, which means that normally for the regular technology, there are, I cannot say many, but there are always oxygen inside the lighting source. And this kind of oxygen or moisture, they are going to make the UVC LED decay more fast. This is the first reason. And the second reason is that oxygen from outside will enter the LED through some glue. Everybody knows that the LED light source, they need to have some glue to make it stick together. And the oxygen from outside, for example from here, they are going to enter the LED through some glue, which to affect to make the decay most Quicker. This is the second reason. And the third reason is that the UVC will continue to damage the glue and further increase the oxygen from outside. As people, as everyone know that the UVC, they are going to do damage to the glue. And this situation will make the decay more fast than before. So, therefore, for ordinary UVC LED, the L50 lifespan is about 1,000 hours, so even the wheel is 300 to 500 hours. It is very soft right now, so that's one thing you need to consider. And for this kind of regular LED, we call it as an organic package LED, because the material is organic like the glue we said just now is organic and we should know that the organic is going to damage by the UVC but there are some advantage the advantage of this kind of UVC LED are less package difficulty which means that it's easy to do the operation and the most important thing is low cost while the biggest disadvantage is the short lifespan, which is not suitable for long-term operation application. Let's say in this way, if you are using the UVC LED for the stabilizing one or the stabilizing box, you can use this kind of UVC because you are not going to use it for a long time. But if you are going to use the UVC LED for a long time running, for example, the commercial air conditioner or maybe an air purifier, you cannot use this kind of products because the lifespan is too, too, too short. And in contrast, besides the organic package LED, there is another one called inorganic package LED. This kind of LED is entirely packaged with inorganic materials, including the glue. Although it is difficult and costly, which means that the cost is probably 30% higher than the regular LED, but the lifespan can be as high as 10,000 hours 
compared with the regular one, is 10 times more than the organic package LED. So this kind of cost is worth it, I think. That means that if the UVC LED is operated for 10 hours a day, the organic package can use up to three months only, while the inorganic package can be used for nearly three years. Let's think about that. Three months and three years. That's a very big difference. So it is best to use the inorganic package LED for applications requiring a long time running or if there is some expensive or difficult maintenance, you need to use this kind of LED. Otherwise, you are going to face big problem for the lifespan. And of course, our UVC LED. Besides the inorganic package, we can even do vacuuming to ensure there is no oxygen inside to enlarge the lifespan even longer. And from above, we can conclude that UVC LED lighting is no longer a product, only belongs to lighting field. Oh, before that, maybe I would like to share with you that how to figure out which one is organic and which one is inorganic. Maybe you can use this kind of thing. Let's say this is a true LED. If you find the LED source and the gas and the body, the group is without some color, maybe some color like this, then it means that it is inorganic. But if you find the LED source, the gas and the body, there is Parents, maybe I remember the words parents. You can see any color here, then it means it is organic. This is the very simple way to figure out because the group is very important. And if you don't know how to figure out, you can email me, I can help you. So, as I said last night, many people they are thinking about the lighting just only some products to make your life with lights, to shine the light, to shine the building, to shine something. But actually, after we talk about the UVC, we know that lighting is actually no longer a product that only belongs to lighting field. Before, we used to think of lighting as a bright product, but right now we need to think beyond that, not only lighting. How's the same? The emergence of UV lighting offers a small possibility in the LED industry, such as the UVA curing, the UVB health care, and UVC sterilization. And of course, there are another lamp that, for example, the animal breeding lamps, the plant growth lamp, and the other special lamps which we are going to recognize that although they are called lighting but actually their function is not lighting and anyway we all have to realize that LED is developing in areas other than lighting and then we can unlock much more variable challenge one day in the future for example, we can achieve a rapid UVC disinfection, not like the one I said just now. We need to take 13 minutes to do the sterilization. Maybe someday in the future, we can make it immediately. And also, maybe someday in the future, there is going to have some automatic induction switching between the visible lights and the, this and the uh, invisible lights. For example, when I 
come in the room, the visible lights turn on and I can see the lights. And when I go out of the room, the UVC light will turn on automatically to do the room cleaning. This is also one thing in the future may happen. And also the UVC sterilizing box can do the cleaning for the baby products directly. For example, we can, I can put the clothes of my son into the box and then do the cleaning. And also there is a UVC air purifier filtering all harmful material in the end, entire space after opened. A new world free from virus like COVID-19 will come to choose. That means no matter which industry we are in right now, we all have room to combine with UVC. It doesn't mean that only the LED lighting people they can think about the UVC. No, I'm saying that almost all industry can have this kind of technology. As for specific UVC sterilization solution, welcome to watch our live show tomorrow, the UVC air sterilization. For tomorrow, I'm going to share with you that how the UVC air sterilization work and why I'm saying that for now, at this moment, it is the best solution for you. So I'm going to see you tomorrow. And if you have any questions about today's show, about today's topic, maybe you're welcome to send some letters, send some words in this live room. And also maybe you can send me email for the discussion. My email address is, as you can see in the presentation, is danielchina1223 at gmail.com. Okay, for the rest of the time, maybe let me wait to see if you have any questions and then I can do the, the, the answer during the day. Anything? Whoa, it takes me almost one hour. Is my English good enough for you? I have some questions right now. The first question is that this client is saying I bought some samples. The UVC seems fake, but I cannot tell why. Just look fake. There's one thing I think I should explain to you that the UVC is the invisible light, which means that you cannot see it. You cannot see the lights. Unless we put some visible light inside, otherwise you cannot see it. So if you ever bought some sample from others, other companies and other factory, maybe you need to check that whether they combine some visible lights on it or whether it is totally invisible lights. If it is totally invisible lights, you are not going to see it. That's the first one. And the second one, you need to check the Currents. Every UVC or maybe every UVA they have a maximum currents. If you make the currents over the maximum currents, they are going to be destroyed. So that may be the issue. So I think if you buy the this kind of things from the other company, you should check with the engineer. And if you have any question with my company, please feel feel free to send me email and I'm going to work together with my engineer to work it out for you. The second question is that can UVA kill the virus? The answer is no. Only the UVC do the performance for the sterilization and UVA cannot do the cannot do the sterilization. But there's one thing we can make. Let me show you. This part is also that I want to say in tomorrow's topic, but since you have the questions, I will say it right now. 
Do you know one kind of material? The name is TiO2. All we can say is photocatastic. Oh, I don't remember the, <laughs> the spellings. Okay, TiO2 is enough. If you know the TiO2, this kind of material, normally it is in the field of filter, it is going to release some kind of material, it's going to kill the virus. So, under the sunlight, it is workable. But if we use UVA, the working efficiency will be higher lots than sunlight. So some company also include our company. We use the UVA plus UVC together with the TiO2 filter. That's how it works. But if somebody only sell you the UVA and saying that the UVA can do the sterilization, don't believe it. It is fake. Another questions? Okay. <clears throat> About the 222. Okay. As I said just now, the 222 nanometer is very, very popular right now because according to some research, there are some articles showing that the 222 nanometer, they can kill the virus, V-I-R-U-S, and would out damage to the skin. There are some articles and there are some experiments showing that. I believe it's true. But as what I said just now, it is only a experimental stage. First, we are not able to get the chip from the chip factory. No one can get the chip with the 222 nanometer for mass production right now in the whole world. I said no one. And the second one, even you can get the 222 nanometer chip, the cost is very, 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 very expensive. And I'm sure no one is going to take this kind of cost. No one, no family, no person. So I believe that if we are going to have this kind of 222 nanometers, in my personal idea, I'm expecting in five years. Why I'm saying this? Actually, the UVC LED industry, no one is bad. It goes so fast and goes so big in this year. Why? The first reason is the, <clears throat> the, the mercury. As I said just now, China is not going to produce the mercury lamp since next year. So, which means that the UVC LED they need to catch up this is the first reason. And the second reason is the COVID-19. The COVID-19 means that many people, they are eager for fresh air. They are eager for the clean things. So many people, they ask for the UVC LED. And that's why since this year, I believe that the industry maybe have 10 times boom, a very quick increasing. But I'm not sure that whether it is enough for the 222 nanometers. Five years or three years, this is my personal opinion. For now, I still suggest that you take the 265 nanometer, 275 nanometer, 255 nanometer. This is the most common one. And if you don't have a very big requirement for that, this one is workable, 275 nanometer is workable because it is the one with the most low cost. How do I apply UVC lamp in my HVAC? This is also one thing I would like to say tomorrow, but 
We can say in short here in a very simple way. Normally, HVAC, we know as a commercial air conditioner, they have some duct. For example, let's say this is the room, right? And this is the supply air. It go out the air, it's go out the air, go out the air. And maybe here is the written air. And then this air will come to a cooling room. We said cooling room and then come here. Okay, if you are in the industry of actually AC, I think this one should be very, very familiar to you. And this is the return air. R E T U R N return air. When we apply for the UVC, normally, for example, the mercury lamp, which is such low, we will put it here. This is the mercury lamp. We put it here in the return air duct, and you can work. Also, you can have to make it here. This is the fresh air. You can put it here also. But here, you cannot use the mercury lamp. You need to have the UVC LED. Why? Because, as I said just now, the mercury lamp, the material is, is what? Is coarse glass. Coarse glass is the same weakness as the normal glass. It is very weak, and if in the dust the airflow is weak, it is easily to destroy the mercury lamp. This is the biggest problem because um, when leakage, when there is mercury in the dust, which means that the mercury will go through the cooling room, the dust, and then go back to the room. This is the biggest problem, and also. We need to think about that only UVC is not enough for the airflow. This is very, very important. You can put the UVC here. For example, if this is a UVC lamp, you can put it here to sterilize, sterilize to clean the air, the steel air. It's okay, it's no problem. It will take you maybe 30 minutes, it's fine. But if it is a full air, like three meters per second. This is normally the, normally the airflow is three meters per second flow, which means that only UVC is not enough. We have to do some research that if, let's say this is the lamp, the mercury lamp, and this is 10, centimeter distance and this lamp they say it's around 30 words if it is still air it's walkable no problem but if it is the airflow with three meter seconds do you think that how much time it is necessary to do the sterilization let's say for the still air it would need for 4.4 seconds to do the stabilization for the 10 centimeter distance. But in the 3 meters per second airflow, the stabilization performance would be maybe never. Maybe never. Why I am saying that? Tomorrow I'm going to give an exact answer. So today, keep this in mind first. <clears throat> How to process an order for UBC products? Send me email, the most important, most easy thing. Send me email to me or send me email to my college. We are going to give you detailed information about the UBC products and also the, the, the detailed specification. And also, through this kind of live show, you should know that we are professional. We are very confident to help you.
How can I get your best price? How's the best quality? <laughs> Actually, I cannot say that the price right now is very low because the market demand is there. The market requires the UVC, so people they are willing to buy the UVC products. So at this moment, cost is not very important. The most important is how soon your supplier can deliver the best performance UVC products to your clients. At this moment, time is money. Because during this kind of COVID, people, everybody, they are thinking about the clean air in their room, in the supermarkets, in the shopping mall. Everyone wants this. In this case, that the sooner you get the products to your clients, the sooner you are, you are going to get the money, the margin. So cost is not very important right now. But for sure, if you have big order for us, you are welcome to discuss the best products for you for sure. Any questions still? If not, thank you very much for coming to today. Tomorrow, today is only the basic information for the UVC. Tomorrow, we are going to go to some deep study and deep research for the UVC air treatment, which I think is the best solution right now for this situation, the best, the best solution for the high cost level of the UVC LED. If you have any questions, as I said just now, you can send me email, you can call me, you can send the contact to my colleague, and if not, we are welcome to come tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.